I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024, and we're talking about integration to achieve your outcomes faster. And I'd like to introduce you right now to the CTO of Channels and Alliances at Boomi, Barry Gerdson. Hi Barry, how are you? Hi, it's nice to meet you. Thank you so much for making the time, coming down to talk to us today. What's a Boomi? <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually, well let's say it this way, most people would know us because we've been in the Magic Quadrant uh, in Gartner for the last 10 years. Um, so we're in the Magic Quadrant for IPES, that is Integration Platform as a Service, uh, but the reality of it is, is that we actually do much more than just that. Uh, we're a cloud native unified platform, we do integration, we do API management, we do data management, uh, and we also do AI, which I think we're going to probably talk a lot about today. Well, you mentioned that because that is something that is uh, newer for a company that's been around for more than 20 years and serves more than 20,000 customers. AI has barged onto the scene and I'd like to know how you and the company has integrated AI into its offerings and what benefits this is bringing. Yeah, I mean, we're, we, what we've done is we've built AI into the platform and then of course we offer AI outside of the platform to be able to enable AI goals with organizations uh, and to be able to enable them to achieve their AI goals. So, you know, when we talk about what we're offering inside of the platform, it's worthy of note that, you know, what we do is make integrations easier for people to do. Um, I, you know, for me, I broke uh, into the IT back in the 90s, so I, I, I go way back. So um, do I, <laughs> I yeah, love this. Back to the dot-com era, and um, you know, back then, to be able to do integrations would be a team of people, it would have been lots, thousands of lines of code, you know, potentially, uh, and it would have taken months and months to be able to perform an integration. Boomi, of course, simplifies all that by making it very easy, and in the past, it's just been drag and drop component tree that we use to establish that, and configuration-based uh, integrations. Now, we've taken it even a step further so that we build in these AI agents to be able to enable natural language processing to be able to allow you to be able to build integrations using no train and you just type in what you want to be able to connect and boomy away it goes. In fact, I, I have an example that I could show you if you want to see it. see it. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, so, I'll start at the beginning here. Um, I actually have something teed up. This is a little video that I created just for the event. Uh, here you see, get orders from Shopify and since this is of course an AWS conference, uh, I'm sending it to an Amazon S3 bucket. So, as I press play here and I enter in that query, Boomi can go forward and it can actually submit it to what is called our design gen agent and our chat GPT agent, and it could perform the integration. So here you see, within just a few seconds, what comes up is that Shopify, uh, a little mapping step in the middle that connects source attributes to destination attributes, and then it sends that information to an Amazon S3 bucket. Now, that's a starting point, of course, but maybe you actually want to go further with it and maybe you want to uh, add exception handling. So, you want to be able to handle any possible errors that could occur within the integration. You could just say, add exception handling, and here goes Boomi adding in a try-catch block and also a catch block here to be able to handle any exceptions that can occur. Um, it's really easy to be able to use, uh, uses natural language, you know, rather than having to learn Java the way I had to learn it, now it's Boomi really learning you and you being a normal business person could come in and facilitate an integration. Now, we also could take it a step further. You can see that the other thing that Boomi could do is it can facilitate documentation. So, using Boomi Scribe, which is another agent that we built into the platform, uh, you can click on the process documentation button after you've built your integration, and Boomi will actually put in all of the details and document completely what it's done. So if you're a developer and you hate the idea of having to do documentation, because let's face it, I've never met a developer that actually likes to do documentation. It's time consuming too. Oh, it's, it really stinks. It, it's the worst part of the job and it's so mind numbing. But here you see Boomi does a very thorough and complete job of, of actually doing the documentation. Uh, Boomi also gives you the opportunity to be able to provide feedback on anything that it provides. So you could give Boomi a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on the quality of what you've done. Um, and in doing so, Boomi will learn from you and will make the tool better as Boomi enables you to be able to do things going forward. Another thing I'll show you, uh, Boomi also provides you with the ability to be able to answer questions as you would expect any good GPT agent would be able to do. So we also have Boomi Answers that's built into this. You can ask Boomi a question like, why is my process not splitting my XML documents? And what Boomi will do is it'll actually go into 
Uh, it's repository of documentation, uh, 20 years, like you said, we've been in business for over 20 years now. It'll go through 20 years of, of community uh, records and, and, and things that people have submitted to us, uh, articles that people have published, to be able to find the best possible answer for you. So it's not just like ask, asking a question of some GPT agent, it's actually asking a question of Boomi, so Boomi understands the context to be able to do so. So it gives you a good answer and all the possibilities to answer my question. And then once again, at the very end of it, uh, you can see that Boomi gives you the ability to be able to even click on some recommended articles on the subject if you want to delve in further. Boomi is my best friend, that is what I decided. <laughs> how, how does Boomi support organizations that are trying to pursue their own AI objectives? So within what Boomi does, first of all, there's really three things that I could talk about. One is we'll give you and we'll provide for you AI readiness workshops. So if you're an organization right now and you're getting together with your C-suite and you're having the kind of conversations like, you know, what's our AI story? What are we going to do? Like, what did this whole new world that we're entering into? We don't know the first step to be able to take to be able to get you there. Uh, Boomi can actually come in, take a look at your existing processes, uh, all your business processes, the, the state of your data readiness, uh, and we can make suggestions and be able to help you out along that journey because underlying it, the second thing that Boomi does is provide great tooling by virtue of the fact that we're in the business of moving data. So, you know, by virtue of the fact that we can connect to your applications, your databases, your file servers, uh, we have the ability to be able to move data, take data from your systems of record, you know, be it your applications, your databases, your mail servers, we can move that data along and we can send it to your LLMs, your vector databases, and then be able to accept contextual information uh, and then be able to supplement the prompts uh, in addition as well to be able to provide you with a means for being able to send information back to those systems of engagement, that is your final web apps, your mobile apps, with good information from the LLMs, from contextual uh, vectorized databases, and to be able to give you good answers for the things that you're looking to do. Now there's one more thing, uh, is we offer a discover portal, which, be, which basically is a receptacle of AI agents, as well as uh, integration recipes, that you can take, and if you're using the Boomi platform, you could just install them, right, and use them and configure them, so that you know 90% of the work to be able to uh, achieve anything through these uh, recipes and agents, it's already done. So the nice thing about this tool, is that it enables you to get up and running quickly uh, and enables, enables you to do AI related things uh, very quickly and without very much work at all. Barry, I know that we're running out of time, but I have to ask you quickly, you just talked about AI agents. Can people and businesses create their own? Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, we're introducing an AI agent framework. And this is really important because what this enables you to do, and you know, you saw me actually perform a couple of really cool things that we built into our, uh, our product, AI agent wise but we can also allow you to build your own AI agents in Boomi so that if you have those mundane tasks, uh, those things that you know, are, are basically uh, enabling the organization or really inhibiting the organization and you want to be able to solve them. Let's say that you want to be able to take away expense reporting or you know, maybe it's Salesforce opportunity record updates that, that sales reps just struggle with and it takes them several hours per week to do this. Um, these are ripe for tasks that you can put into Boomi and you could use Boomi in order to be able to create AI agents uh, that can solve that problem and save a lot of time to the organization. It is integration at speed. Uh, Barry, thank you so much for taking the time to speak thank to us. Thank you so I much really for having me, I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. I'm Steph Strickland, you're watching GeekWire Studios.